Number two, by contradiction, suppose it's not by. Then there's going to be a little elementary rectangle that shows up. It's going to have an awful lot of area. And if it has too much area, the integral is going to exist because it's not going to approach it. So, for example, you, if you had a situation like this, uh, 1 over x, and you claim that that had a Cauchy, uh, Cauchy integral from 0 to 1. Um, there's going to be a strip back here. Well, there's going to be a strip back here that is arbitrarily high. For for any partition element back here, even if the if the partition element has width uh, delta, you can you can pick an m greater than uh, I need to make the integral blow up. Uh, one over delta squared will blow again. Right? I can make this. I can make a strip. I can make a strip just inconveniently tall. I was thinking one over epsilon delta. Well. Delta squared. Yeah. If I multiply delta by one over delta squared, I have m greater than one over delta. Um, the, the area then. Yeah. The the area m delta is greater than one over delta for just that strip. The thing is, you have to break the bank with one strip because if all the strips are if all the strips are bounded, then the integral exists. So uh, that would be the key to that problem. Same thing will be true for uh, the Riemann integral. If a strip gets out of control, the integral can't exist, so the function has to be bounded. So that's the key on that.